Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. We're going to look at installing this uh, carbine digital code lock. A lot of the other ones um, you see around are very similar in nature of installation. And uh, this door had nothing and we installed it from scratch. It has a lever on the inside. We've reversed the lever and I'll walk you through and show you how we did it. A little bit dusty. This code lock right here. Now this is a push button lock. It doesn't require batteries, it has a 60 mil back set, and um, yeah, we're going to put it in. So first thing we're going to do is go over uh, what holes it requires us to drill. Okay, so here we are here. So it's requiring us to put in um, four 10 mil holes, two 8 mil holes, and the center of the latch would be 60 mil of the back set. So there's our instructions there, that's what they want us to do. So for this uh, we have a hammer, we won't be using uh, this one, we have our 24mm speed bore, this will be for the latch, and we have our lock. Here it all is here, before we get into that, uh, driver, chisel, pencil, marking tape. So because on this door here I have um, the strike, now the strike cannot move, on the door here there's a big screw being put through there, so ideally our lock should sit over the top of it. But I can't move the lock uh, to make sure I cover it. All I can do is put the lock where the lock needs to be and hopefully it will cover it. If you try and put the lock to cover a hole, you're going to end up in the wrong spot. So you've got to put the lock where the lock needs to be. A little tip here is to use masking tape. So I'm going to use a little bit of masking tape right here. Okay. That's just going to allow us to mark the door without uh, doing any problems. Most importantly, we're going to need a sharp pencil, so let's organize that. You don't need a rubber. If you make a mistake, just take the tape off and do it again. Kneeling pad. Awesome. Need one of them. Okay, here we have our tri-square. So we're going to start by marking these ones. There's my bottom. There's my top. Measure how big they are. I've got 32, so that's 15, that's 16. There's our center right there. I'm going to bring that line across because that's my most important mark right about now. This one right here, most important. Okay, now let's just check the door. Okay, so the door is actually rubbing up the top here, but that's okay. That can be adjusted later on. We have our line here, so it's important we carry this on here. Oh, that's a bit high. Could have used a bit, a bit more masking tape actually. That way I don't have marks on the door. Masking tape is cheap. The idea is to line this lock up to where our striker plate is. Okay, now off the instructions we have a 60mm back set, so we go from 60, find our centre here. Okay, now we can start working on the edge of the door. Let's measure the door thickness, we have 30, 34, so we'll carry this line on around here. Make sure that's square, yep. So we have 30, half of 30 is 15, and then we have 4, so 15, 16, 17. That's our centre right there. And there we're going to do a 24 mil hole. And here, going back to the instructions, they want uh, 4 times 10 mil holes, and we should be at 60 mil. Yep. So 60 mil is right here. You can see my marking, 60 mil is right there. So, if that's 60 mil, I need, uh, how many did they say? Two, two on either side. So I need to go across uh, five mil here, and then I need to go across uh, another five. Yeah, 
So from the center I need to go 5 and from there I need to go 10. Getting confused here. Then you need to go to 10. And from the center you need to go 5 and then from there you need to go to 10. So here I'm going to do uh, 10 mil, uh, 10 mil, 10 mil and 10 mil. Okay. And then from there we need to go down uh, 17.5 bit more tape take this screw out now it doesn't need to be there so from our center that right there is our center we want to go down 17.5 to, to find our center hole so that's 20, that's 17, that's about 17.5 right there. That's where we want our hole. A bit more tape. Okay, now from here they want us to go up 130 to find our top hole. You can measure that again. Sorry, that's 130 from the bottom to the top. So that's the bottom. That's the top. Make sure it's all nice and square. So, hole, hole, one, two, three, four, four holes. And here's our hole down here. Unfortunately, it didn't cover it. There's nothing we can, we can do about that. All right, let's start putting some holes in this door. 24 mil speed ball. Preferably, we would be using... 24 sometimes uh, you can use 25 this door hollow door our lock is going to sit about here so we've got enough room on the door let's start drilling make sure we're drilling straight not on an angle and not left and right going straight into the door and it's hollow so that's enough for us now I've got all these markings and I'm going to drill through with a pilot drill. This will stop um, the other side blowing out and making a mess. But it will give us our mark. So just very softly doing that. If I was to use a big drill, it would create a bigger hole on the other side, and we want the front side to um, to be nice and nice and neat. Okay, now we have to. Oh, I guess we can start drilling these holes before we open the door again. Now, going back to our instructions, we want 10 mil holes. So we'll take our 10 mil drill bit here. We'll start in the middle. And I'm going to drill through on the other side for the other one. Just widening it a little bit just to give it a bit more extra room. Now for the top holes, they want an 8mm. I'm going to go 8.5, give it just a little bit of room. those ones let's open the door again top of the door is going to need to be planed so we've got our 8.5 in so let's drill that now as you can see drilling through with a small drill bit is a lot better than drilling through with a big drill bit it doesn't damage it, it doesn't damage the other side we can remove all this now we'll go back to our 10 mil And we'll 
we'll just clear it out a bit. Okay, so as you can see, there's a few dags there. Just tidy them up. Tidy that one up too. Okay, you go from one side, go from the other side. Go from one side. Okay, make sure our latch is good, our latch is good. Okay, so that's that. Now let's take out our latch. Okay, and that should be a 60 mil back set as stated on the box. Looking. Yep, 60 mil. Okay, so now's a good time to cut in our latch. Uh, I might use uh, tape once again so I don't have to use, use an eraser as we're using that method. Make sure your latch is going the right way. The door's going to be hitting it this way, so it's going that way. Marking it, making sure it's nice and square. When you chisel it, probably about half a mil under that line and you should be left with quite a nice finish. Okay, one hammer, one chisel. Uh, it's going to be hard to do this so I can use my leg to hold the door. Start off with my bottom lines. Just going to go a little bit under. If you can see how close that is. Very careful on the sides, this wood is not very thick. One big hit and I could get a crack going straight up the edge of the door and we don't want that. So just marking it all the way around. Once you've got your first mark, it's good to go through and give it one more. Finding that groove chisel's made. Okay, now we've chiseled it round. We're going to knock out the, the meat. We're going to start from about there. Out it comes. You only want to be taking a small portion out each time and then you want to be remarking it again with your chisel. Oh, we're getting a bit of uh, action on the side there. So now we'll go through and we'll just double mark it with the chisel, especially on those sides so we can get a nice neat finish. side, it's the bottom. Now with these hollow doors they have only got a slight bit of wood around the outside, probably about 40-50 mil of wood. So there's this much wood, the rest is all hollow. Actually so it's only about 30 on this door. So to do a nice job here we have to take a lot of care. Now I'm just going to knock out and do a bit of a V section. That's just preference, what I like to do. Now yeah, we can just work on this top bit. We need about a good 5mm for the latch to sit flat or flush. Remarking. It gets easier to mark the lower you go down. One more. One more. It's a little bit deeper. Need more marking. A 
Okay. This is our latch now. Let's have a look and see how close we are. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, we've got about half a millimeter on top. So we can just take that out quickly. Definitely need a sharp chisel for this type of work if you want a nice job. Yeah, 100% flush, flush. Take that off. Okay, now it is a very soft door, so we're going to do a pilot hole for the screws using like a 2mm. Going to find the center. Just a little pilot hole because it's only got 30mm of wood. If we just screw into there, it's got a chance of cracking and we don't want that. Going to remove our tape. These are the screws that are included, so we need two wood screws. And for this I normally use a driver, but I'm just going to screw them in by hand. It's only soft pine wood. absolutely flat there. Looking at it here we have our center and now we can set up our lock. So our lock will come with some code already set in it. As we can see here it's all the red ones so we've got one one eight five X Y and that is our code. 18 5 X Y Okay, so handing over the door, here's the door handle, and obviously it's going to be in the wrong position. So what we want to do is turn this handle around so it's on the inside. To do that, we have this little grub screw on the side. We're going to loosen that until the handle can come off or be removed. Okay. We're going to rotate it round. Rotating it round, finding the drop-in position. Tighten it up again till it's all the way below the surface. We've also moved this blue screw from this position to this position. So now we have a spring-loaded handle. We take one of our rubber plates. That will be sitting under there like so. We take our front one. Now we've identified the code. Uh, they didn't write the code down, but uh, we'll have to remember it. 185XY. So we'll put our piece of rubber on there. Here's our center latch part. This might need cutting. This, this goes through the door and pulls that part there. So we're going to need to work out how much we need to cut. If I put this one on here, I can see that we need to cut at the smallest amount. Okay, so we've cut our bar down to the correct size now. We're going to put that in. We're going to attach these parts here. We won't be needing that. Now these screws are too long. Well, they've even provided some packing plates, it's interesting. These screws are too long, so we're going to have to cut them down significantly, actually. Other screws. So looking at these screws now, I can say that we probably only need them to about this long. Okay, so we're back. So I've shortened the screws down to the an acceptable level. 
these are threaded all the way through. Now we're just going to tighten these on and use an adjustable just to make sure they're in there tight. That stops it when you remove the lock, taking that post off. Go tighten them in tight. These plates are an accessory too, they don't come with the lock. Bring our rubber on, get our screws. So now it's time to put this, this part in the right place. All right, here. Seems to be good. making sure that's on there nice and tight. The lock is fitted, always free from the inside. One, five, eight. Any code, won't work. Clear button. You can put your numbers in any uh, fashion on these ones. So if your code is 1234, you could put in 4321, 2341, and it'll still open because it's mechanical, no batteries needed. Now here's the big moment of truth. Will this line up with our striker? Look at that, perfect. And looking at it from here, our line is extremely close. That's good, let's test it from outside. One, five, eight, X, Y, turn it, and that's it. Okay, just for changing these locks, uh, all the red ones here are the actual code, and all the blue ones are not the code. When you look at the right side, they're all unhappy, so they're curved at the top. If you look at the left side, they're all happy, they're curved at the bottom. So to get them out, you simply pull the C button, and they do provide you some little tweezers that come along here. So for example, if eight, um, if five was not in my code, I could remove that. Take note that the color, the color goes towards you and the cutout on this side is on this side and the cutout is on this side. So now they gave me some extra, um, extra pieces here too. Another red one so I could make my code bigger. But in this example, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out uh, couple of them and um, make a different code. So all the red ones are on and all the blue ones are off. Once I've finished uh, putting all my code back in, I simply put this plate on, very careful of the springs, putting it back on top there, tighten up the four screens, screws and put it back on the door.